Alright, so if you're like me and your computer came with a, a video tuner card thing and it didn't come with a remote and you try to set it up with Windows Media Center anyways but when you're setting it up you find the signal and then the next step it asks for an IR remote and you don't have one, have one and there's no option of letting you skip it. Well that's just plain stupid. But anyways, there's a lucky way to skip that, and first you'll need to go download a pretend driver for this IR device. Uh, it will be in the link in the description of this video. So, you'll need to, uh, the driver will come in a, um, in a zip file. You need to zip it, unzip it somewhere. I put it in my, um, my, uh, do 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 uh, here drivers file that I created in the uh, my local disk. So next to that you need to click start and then go to the add hardware wizard. I believe that is where is it? Hold on a second. Uh my bad it was um go in here and if you're in Windows 7 the add hardware wizard you'd have to type H D W W I Z and it should come up right there. Yeah, click to open that. Now I've already installed it, so it might come up differently. But anyways, um, you just go into Add Hardware. You click Next. You choose this here. Uh, install the hardware that I manually select from the list, list. Click Next, and I'll add. You click Show All Devices. Now you click Have Disk. Go to Browse, and then wherever you put the the folder for that, I put it in here. Then um, the drivers and it should be the Vista MCE IR blaster file you go into there there should be a 3013 file then click on have a then have a, a IR and then click open click OK and it should come up as have a IR driver for eHome and I'll tell you it's not signed but whatever just click next and it should say hardware to install it should be installing now it completed the hardware because it, it was already installed. Um, but you, if you're installing it for the first time, it'll ask you with a red box to if you wish to continue or do not continue because of it not being digitally signed. Just click continue anyways, and then click finish. Now you can go back into Windows Media Center, and since I already got mine set up, I'm gonna just show you. You need to go into Tasks if you haven't, if you already set it up but failed. Um, I said tasks. Go to settings, TV. I set up TV signal. Yes, I'll continue anyways. Um, I'm going to use it with my region, which is the US as of right now. So use it whatever you want you region you're in. Type in your zip code. Ah, uh, you agree. Well, I'd hope you would. Now it's going to download the TV setup data, and we'll let it do that. Alright, it's done doing that. Now it's examining my TV signals. Now I have my um, satellite box sitting and it's turned on and it's plugged into my uh, Turner card thinger. Whatever you want to call them. TV tuner. It'll take a sec. Pause. Alright, now it found that I had a set top box, which is my dish network satellite box. I will, yes, can configure TV with these results. You click next, choose what you have. I have satellite. And now it's going to prepare set top box. Blah, blah, blah. Make sure it's turned on. And now it's searching. And this is where you'd get before. I guess we got Cartoon Network on. Um, and you can see it's picking it up. So that's good. Must I think I had uh, Cartoon Network, you know, as Adult Swim. So yeah, I haven't turned it on since last night. But anyways, uh, that, as you can see, so it works. And now when you click next, before you'd get this thing that says plug in your IR hardware. As you can see now, it's not there. Um, it's already been configured. With it. You can uh, re. Um, yours probably won't show that because I've already did this. It'll probably show this. Um, now we're going to select it from a list because I don't know, but my highest channel I receive goes up to four digits. Um, I'm just going to skip, you can just go through this thing here because, you know, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, Setbox top brand. Now we have to go through here. I believe it's Echo Star. How long is it going to take to get through this list? Go, 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 go. So we'll pause. Alright, Echo Star. I believe that's Makes Dish Network crap. Um, I, this doesn't matter because I don't got a remote code anyways. This is just nonsense right now. And now we're just going to test the channel. I'm just going to type it in the keyboard. 66. We're going to say it changed correctly. Who cares? I entered a number. It changed correctly. Now we'll say it's fast. Yes. We'll click next. Your area. Mine is would be Madison. Dish. Madison. Okay. And click next to confirm. And review your stuff here. And it should finish. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. We'll pause. This is taking it. Alright, it's finished. It says it's satellite, set top box, Madison dish network, dish Madison. Click finish. Um, now, the changing the channel will only work if you change it through your all your normal remote. You can't actually, yeah, there's a guide on it, but it doesn't matter if you change it on the guide, you have to change it on the remote yourself because the remote, of course, won't work and you don't even have an IR thing anyways. So, we'll just wait for live TV to load and you can see it thinks I'm on channel 3. We'll type it in by itself manually so it has the right information. This is 176. But as you can see, if we click guide, the guide will actually show you the right information for all this and the right numbers. And because as you can see, Pirate the Scooby Doo is on, and I got uh, it on. But you know, you know, I have to press guide on the remote myself. And. But anyways, that's basically how you do that. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped.